Hey everyone, just got my brand new iGo Turbo out of the box and ready to build it up. We're going to start by installing the panniers. There's four Velcro straps on the bottom that attach to the frame. Install a flag. Alright, now we're going to install the pedals. Important step here, look on the back of the pedals where the threads are located. You'll see an L for left, an R for right. The left pedal goes on the left hand side of the trailer and is reverse thread. So what that means is when you're tightening it, you actually turn it to the left. I like to get these threads started by hand and then tighten them down using a little wrench. Now that we've got the pedals installed, we're going to install the push bar. This comes on and off for easier transportation. Uh, when you're installing this, sometimes it helps to put it at a little bit of an angle and kind of jiggle it on there, sort of scratch some of the paint uh, from the factory there. There might be a little excess. Line up that hole, take your quick release pin, insert it into the hole. We're gonna assemble the seat. This is the trickiest part of the job. There's six screws that you need to install to assemble this seat and a couple tricks along the way. You'll need a four millimeter Allen wrench. You'll start by simply inserting the back support into the seat cover. Really important here. Insert these little loops around this metal bolt. Now we're gonna install the armrests and the seat bottom. Important step here is inserting this armrest through the seat cover. All right, now we're going to install the seat base. Simply set this onto the holes, line everything up. Again, start these by hand, get them threaded in there, and then grab your Allen wrench. Now that we've got all of our bolts in place, I'm gonna go through and torque them down so that they're all nice and evenly tight. The final step in the seat is to Velcro the seat base to the frame. Pull it tight, flip it over so you can see. Pull this layer tight, lay it down, and fold this layer over, done. Now we're gonna install the seat to the frame. Take these two bushings with the holes on the bottom and start with the one on the right hand side. You have to pull this chain guide to the side, kind of squeeze this in. It's a little snug getting it in there and then it'll clip onto the frame. Line up the other one. Notice I'm putting it pretty far forward. It'll be for a small child. Um, take the seat. Notice there's a circular hole and a square hole. The square hole goes on the right and is for the carriage bolt, which is right here. Slide the seat over the bushing and insert the carriage bolt into the hole. Simply tighten the hand knob onto the carriage bolt with the round piece facing in. One of the things you'll notice here is that we left some extra threads on this carriage bolt and that's just to ensure that it doesn't fall off when you're bumping down the trail. Now I'm going to show you how to quickly adjust the seat. It's not as simple as just grabbing it. There's a lot of friction on this bushing intentionally. You loosen the hand knob and then I stand over the frame, one foot on each side and grab with two hands and squeeze, slide the seat forward or push, but you gotta put some leverage into it. We're getting pretty close. We've gotta put on the fender, hook it up to the bike and we are ready to hit the trails. Fender goes on one direction only, small screw and washer. Again, start it with by hand. This is when you'll use your Phillips head screwdriver. Tighten that on. Hey guys, I pulled the seat post out of the bike and I'm ready to install the hitch onto my seat post. If you look on the back, it'll usually say the diameter. This one's 27.2. You've got your six bushings here. They're all individually labeled. So I grab my 27.2, slide it into the hitch, press that in, slide this. This is a really important step. Always want the flange, the black end, 
at the bottom so that it rests on your seat collar. Slide that on. Now, insert it into your bike. We're ready to hook up our trailer to the bike. You'll need your quick release pin. We've got our hitch installed. Simply slide the hitch onto the push bar. Slide the quick release pin through. Right here, it usually helps to jiggle the trailer. Snap it on. We're ready to go.